Well, and here now to react to all of this back and forth is Florida Congressman Francis Rooney, a member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee. Congressman, thank you for being here. We have to get your initial reaction to all of this back and forth of the last 24 hours. It's on, it's off, it's a maybe. What do you say? Well, I actually think the on and off posturing is probably not a bad idea to set the stage for maybe better talks. I mean, this president has done a pretty good job of getting both China and North Korea in a better spot than any of his predecessor, but ha predecessors has been able to do. So it just remains to be seen uh, if we can avoid the historical American desire to get a deal done at any cost and remain tough and disciplined. Well, Congressman, you brought up the issue of China. I have to bring that up as well because the timing of all this seems a little suspect. Uh, the North, uh, you know, remember Kim Jong Un met with President Xi, and right after that meeting. Kim Jong-un's rhetoric, the North Koreans' rhetoric, turned pretty negative towards us. That's when the insults came in flying at Mike Pence, for instance. But now, all of a sudden, we back out and, and, and then a deal for ZTE, and that's China's big, you know, I'm sorry, but big piece on the chessboard. The tr Trump says, okay, well, we've got a deal for ZTE, and all of a sudden, the North Koreans are maybe back in the game again. I mean, doesn't this all seem a little too convenient from a timing perspective? It certainly, it certainly, certainly would seem to be that uh, the North Korean talks have something to do with the ZTE deal, but it could also have to do with the agricultural products and everything else that we uh, that that we want China to buy. And I'm sure the president has had some uh, heard from a lot of the agricultural interests in the United States about it. Yeah, but there's been a lot of uh, criticism that the president, especially with ZTE, that we're not getting enough out of this deal. Do you think that this change of heart on ZTE? Do you think that this is fair to the United States? Uh, no, I don't think the ZTE uh, bailout is a very good idea for the United States, given what I've heard from the military and the intel people about how suspicious they are of their uh, uh, telephones and things like that. I mean, we're yeah. enabling a, a technology pirate. Well, do you think that the summit with the North Koreans is going to happen? I mean, we're, we're, you know, our, our correspondent at the White House just saying we should know later today whether another advanced team is going to make the trip over ahead of this scheduled summit which is still a maybe. I mean, where do you think we're at in this process? Because the calendar's getting a little short. It is getting short. I've been thinking that the summit would happen, if not on the 12th, then it's sometime before long. Because we have, uh, again, North Korea in a spot where they seem to want to talk. We've got regime change and, and taken off the table. We're in a lot better position for the United States as long as we're willing to walk away. Well, I mean, and also, what about the nuclear program? We have heard that Kim Jong-un, and, and it's been reported widely, they don't want to be the next Libya. He doesn't want to be the next Muammar Gaddafi, uh, even though President Trump has, has said previously that he would be protected if he de denuclearized. Do you think Kim Jong-un is actually going to fully comply and denuclearize? No, I really don't. <laughs> I think that the best we can hope for is is the kind of Iran deal we would have wanted to have if it were broadly uh, enforceable and monitorable, not just limited uh, in the sense that it is now. You know, there's there's a way to have some denuclearization without total denuclearization. I mean, that means a lot. Denuclearization can mean a lot of different things to a lot of people. But we definitely need a standstill and inspection that we can count on and and verify. Or we can't do anything. Well, it, we'll see if we can trust them, I guess, if we talk to them, and that's the whole question. Oh, we can't trust them. We know we can't trust them. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we can't, that's why we, it's what Reagan say, trust but verify. Oh, yeah, there you go. Exactly. Oh, gosh. All right, Congressman Rooney, thank you for being here, uh, and have a great Memorial Day weekend, sir. We appreciate it.